What's going on YouTube, GSN right here, so an important update has been released for Shina 520's jailbreak which does support the newest devices like the A12, A13 and so on, so if you have an iPhone XS and a Max 10R and stuff like that, this jailbreak is for you. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM, remove SIM lock and stuff like that, definitely check the program out in the link below, especially if you have a second hand device. So just a couple of hours ago, Shina 520, the developer behind Shina A15 jailbreak has released an update and this update in here seems to have this changelog, fix dpkg lcr path library frameworks directory and fix jailbreak d bug. Now jailbreak d is usually a program that allows the jailbreak to run various things, for example to grant permissions or to intercept various calls to various functions and stuff like that. Each jailbreak implements this differently but it's an important component for the jailbreak, especially for tweaks and stuff like that. So the fact that a bug was fixed in there should make the jailbreak to work better. Now this jailbreak as I said works on iOS 15.1.1 all the way down to 15.1.1. Point zero on all modern devices. That includes the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, iPhone 12, iPhone 13 and so on. Those are supported. It doesn't support iPhone 10, 7, 7 Plus and stuff like that. Those older devices are supported however by Pelrain on iOS 15.0 up to iOS 16.1.2. So if you have a newer device definitely get the Shina 5.0 if you're on the right firmware. Now the Shina A15 jailbreak version is now available over here. You can download the IPA file and you can sideload it with whatever you want. For example, you can sideload it with Sideloadly or Alt Store and stuff like that. If you get a message like this from Chrome, just go ahead in here and press keep. It's normal, jailbreaks usually tend to be detected as either malware and stuff like that, but it's not malware. This is a proper jailbreak. Now this update also contains a slightly tweaked UI. It now has a purple gradient color instead of gray. Not very important, but it is in here in the changelog. But there is a very important line in here. You should reinstall the jailbreak environment before jailbreaking with the new version. Don't update the bootstrap packages though. So you should get this and update your Shina A12 or Shina A15 jailbreak but you should reinstall the jailbreak environment which means basically like restoring GruDFS before jailbreaking with the new version. Uh, you should back up your tweaks first and then you should not update the base binaries. You can update your tweaks in Cilio but don't update the jailbreak binaries that come with it. You will have updates for those, don't do them, it may break something. So yeah, a brand new update is now available. Quickly before I go, there is now a page here on my website Site called All Mac Dirty Cow Tools IP Downloads. This page contains every single tool released with the Mac Dirty Cow exploit, like Kawabunga, Files Escape, WDB Font Overwrite, Santander Escape, Troll Tools, Res Set 16, and stuff like that. Each one of them has the IPA download link. You can find all of them and what they do in here on this page. Those are tweaking applications for iOS 15.0 up to 16.1.2 on all devices. None of them require a jailbreak, but they allow you to have themes and custom passcodes screen and custom home screen and whatever. So definitely check this page, it will be down below. So thank you for watching, that's basically it, till next time, subscribe to stay updated, I am Geosnow and peace out.